Hey friends, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can run an open source large language model using the Hugging Face Hub for free and also combine this with a web front interface. Meaning we do not want to only use our command line. Instead, we want to have some really nice looking interface where a user then can type his or her question and then get the response. And for that, we're gonna leverage Chainlit. So it's also a Python package similar to Streamlit, which allows us to use our large language model in a really nice way. So let's get started. For that, we first need to import a few dependencies. So in this case, I will import Chainlit. So you need to install it first if you have not done this. So import Chainlit, Chainlit as CL, CL is just an abbreviation. And then we're gonna use Longchain. So from Longchain, uh, import the Hugging Face Hub. So we're gonna use the hub itself the prompt template, prompt template, as well as the chain we're gonna use, and we're gonna use the normal LLM chain. So there are various chains, but we're gonna use this one here. So this chain requires us to use a prompt template and then combine this prompt template with the LLM, and that's why we imported prompt template here as well. Hugging Face Hub, by the way, is just a way, a really nice way from Langchain to interact with the open source large language models on the Hugging Face Hub, which we're gonna use using the API, so we call them. So we do not have to download them locally. There's also a way to download uh, the LLM locally and want to run it only on our computer. This would then require the Hugging Face uh, Hub pipeline. There's also a pipeline in here. So let me just check that quickly. So Hugging Face, uh, there is the pipeline, Hugging Face pipeline, this one here. You would import and then you can also download it and using C-Transformers, for instance, uh, to run the LLM locally. I also created a video, so if you're interested in that, uh, either comment on this video and also have a look at the other videos on the channel. So thanks a lot. By the way, if you haven't done so far, I appreciate if you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Thank you. So let's continue. So we have Chainlit, we have Langchain, and then I also want to import my environment variables. So that's why I need to, I'm going to use .env. So from .env, I will import uh, load.env. You could also use uh, the OS module to import your um, well, your environment variables, but um, I'm going to use load.ini here because I really like this package. So that next, we're going to need to find uh, define the model ID. So model ID, and this could be anything, but in this case, I'm going to use a model which I tested before, so I know this works. Because sometimes, uh, depending on the model you choose, right, for instance, Llama and so on, um, I mean, a few models are not really callable using the API. They are still, uh, they are simply forbidden. And the other point is that sometimes a model does not really work because remember, we're gonna use the free API here. So it might be a lot of traffic and that's why we need to wait uh, or you, we run in a timeout. And this is what I'm gonna use with this uh, Falcon model because this works pretty well, at least for my side. So next we're gonna start the LMM. So I call this Falcon uh, LLM is equal to, and then I'm gonna use the Hugging Face Hub. Now, in this case, the hub itself needs a repo ID. The repo ID is, in my case, the model ID. So model ID, basically that's what I stored here. So, okay, we got this, and then we can give in also model quarks, so keyword arguments, and this is just a dictionary, and they can specify something like, for instance, temperature. Temperature uh, should be equal to, let's say here, 0.3. And then the max new tokens, max new tokens. Uh, so these are the amount of tokens, so amount of more or less words. So a token is not exactly a word, but more or less. Uh, so max new tokens should be a maximum of 2000. I want to generate for my answers. Okay, so that is that. And then very important, we need our token. So that's why there is also the Hugging Face API token. And for that, now I'm gonna use in this case, my load.env file and or the library. But in this case, I want to also import the operating system module because this allows me then to call the loaded environments. So os.getenv. So get the environment variable. And what I want is the hugging face API token, this one. Okay, so we're good to go. And this should be our model. So now next we need a prompt template. So template is equal to, and they can actually specify anything, but I'm gonna use some, let's say basic one. I already wrote it down. So let me just copy that quickly. So you can see the, what's inside. It's just that um, 
So it's just you are an AI assistant that provides helpful answers to user queries, and then there I get my question as the placeholder inside. So that's everything. Of course, you could be more specific here. So you are an AI assistant, an expert in uh, medical, for instance, or anything like that, depending on uh, how you want to prime uh, uh, your model, right? So this is that, okay. And now we got here actually our prompt as uh, for that. So then I need to uh, instantiate, uh, create the prompt itself. So let's say prompt, prompt is equal to a prompt template and the template itself in our case is, so the template is the template we defined. So this one and uh, the variables. So the input variables we have is in our case only one, which is question. So question like that. So it just means that the template is this one here and this is our placeholder. That's why we need to specify it here. So if you change it here, also change it here, please. Okay, so we got this as well. And now the chain. So we can now instantiate the chain. And actually, because we want to do it with long chain, we can actually put, uh, sorry, with chainlet, we can put this in the chainlet itself. So in the factory. So this is why we can actually decorate this. We can say we create a function. So go it here and say at cl dot Lang chain factory. So that's um, here simply uh, the decorator we can use. And in this case, we do not use async. Uh, so let's set this to false. And in here, we define our function. So def factory, factory. And now inside the function, we need to, of course, move this like that. So we define the prompt template. And then we also define the chain. So let's say falcon uh, chain or falcon chain is equal to and then this is our LLM chain, and the chain itself needs a prompt. The prompt is the prompt we defined in the line above, and the large language model, so the LLM, is equal to our Falcon LLM, which we defined up there, and we set verbose to true. That just means that it gives us a little bit more information in the terminal, so let's set this to true. And then all we need to do is just return, return the, in this case, the chain itself, Falcon uh, chain, so this one here. And uh, that's actually basically everything we need to do. So a really nice and short code. And let's just uh, go over that briefly, what we did, where we imported the dependencies, so the libraries. So in case there's something missing for you and you run into some kind of error, then please install the library first. So chainlet, longchain, uh, as well as here .env. And the operating module, of course, this is the available by default if you install Python. Then we're gonna use Hugging Face Up. This is why you need to make sure that you go to the Hugging Face Hub first and get your free API token. It's completely free, you just need to sign up. And then under the settings, under your user profile, you can take a look and create your Hugging Face API token. And that's just, you can just store this uh, somewhere uh, in your mind variables um, if you wanna load it or also directly in here, right? You can also put the key itself, the token itself directly in here if you wanna do that. Then you define the templates, and then we're gonna use the long chain factory uh, just to wrap this as a wrapper inside with our function, and then we just instantiate that. So let's give this a try. Let's call, in this case, our, let's first save it, of course, and now let's call this. Let's say, in this case, and by the way, we don't call it with Python, we call it with chainlet. So we specify chainlet, chainlet, and then run. So kind of similar to streamlet, if you're familiar with that. So, but in this case, we don't say streamlet run, we say chainlet run. So chainlet run. And then, of course, our uh, name of the module we created. So in this case, it's free.py. And let me just execute this. And then let's just wait until this gets started on our local host. So just a second. And then we should see it actually appearing in, uh, there it is, it loaded the end file and now it's available on our local host. And there it is, let me drag this inside here so you can see that. Let me make it a little bit smaller in here like that. Uh, even too big, <laughs> even smaller uh, like that now you should see it right so that's actually the chainlet interface so you can see it's kind of a really nice looking interface uh, which could be run on a server by the way uh, so that everyone can now interact with uh, the module we have created and now all we need to do is here type our message and it looks quite well let's say nicer than just type it in the command line right and now we can ask a question so for instance um, list three ways to let's say um, in this case lose weight, huh? so uh, lose uh, weight, okay, uh, fast, okay, like that, for instance, just a question, and type in a question mark here, and let's just run this, okay, uh, let's just run it here, and we see that now it's calling it, 
And you see that that really went quickly, right? So it called the uh, free uh, with our API token, the free uh, LNM, uh, the endpoint with the Falcon, and the Falcon then gave us, in this case, these three uh, answers here. So eat healthy, balance diet, exercise directly, and drink plenty of water to stay hydrated, right? I mean, we all know that probably, but still, you can, of course, ask several other questions, like more specific to your specific problem. And this is it, by the way. So that's it how we can create a really simple and nice looking user interface and run an open source model completely free because we call the endpoint. There's no cost on our side. Also, it's not run locally. So our hardware also don't needs to work a lot and we can simply use it like that. Okay. And of course, if you want to, uh, well, stop this, then all you need to do is just um, cancel it, right? Like do here. And then of course, it's not available anymore. And that's the whole project. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, please give it a try yourself. And if you liked it, please give this video a like. Also, please subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. So thank you in advance. And if you want to see more, just let me know in the comments. And hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.